Can you find a single person of colour in that crowd? Yes, there's a couple over there actually. And any proof that I'm a white supremacist at all? So you just made a claim. I'm going to back that claim up. Your YouTube channel sucks! Hey guys, I had to hide my hair. I know I look absolutely tragic right now, but um, I had to hide my hair just because just because I don't want to get it pulled out. You said that they are just telling us to go the other way. Obviously, we want this to be a very peaceful event, so what we're going to do is basically move over to the other side so we can avoid conflict with Antifa. It was way harder yesterday when they obviously came to Seven Oaks, like an hour ride outside of London just to, um, to pick up a fight. Um, but you know, thanks to you guys, thanks for sharing that video because we basically showed, you know, what Antifa really stands for. Freya's gonna give a speech, Elder. Nazis come off our streets! Nazis come off our streets! Guys, their faces. Guys, screenshot their faces. off our streets! Bring them up! So guys, we're having a speech essentially about women's rights, about violence against women, about how, you know, women's lives have changed because of um, migration that hasn't been controlled and you essentially see what is happening. They're protesting us talking about women's rights. So you guys will hear what these women are talking about and you judge for yourself if this is something that should be allowed to be said or shouldn't be allowed to be said. Seriously. You judge for yourselves. These two beautiful, very brave women are here to speak about women's rights and they deserve to be supported 100%. Hello London! I'm honored to talk to you today. I'm an activist from Germany and I'm here to speak about a new campaign called 120 Decibel. 120 Decibel is the sound volume a standard pocket alarm has in Germany. Yeah. Um, Share this for this great one, yeah. Those pocket alarms were designed to be activated in situations of urgent danger, drawing the potential helpless attack, uh, attention to the victim and to scare off the attacker. Those pocket alarms are now being sold in your local drugstores, creating the impression that this is now a regular part of our everyday life. The reason we did start, or better, had to start the movement, was because the imported sexual violence against women as a result of uncontrolled mass immigration from mostly Muslim countries is swept under the carpet by our officials and the media. The current state is unbearable for anyone with a healthy mind. Women are being raped, tortured and killed over nothing, just out of boredom and disrespect. <laughs> it is not just directed at young or middle-aged women. Also, ladies in their 80s and women, uh, girls of maybe seven years are being molested. It has become clear that those sexual predators have no boundaries and that the crimes are getting more and more perverted. Women are being raped at cemeteries or while in labor pains laying in the hospitals. As a woman, I can literally feel the disrespect when co coming from some of those migrants when I ride the bus or walk along the streets of my city and have them look at me like I'm some kind of fair game just because I dare to wear my hair open. And I can tell you, nothing is as frustrating as knowing that even if you stand up for yourself, they will laugh in your face and give you a look like you're worth nothing just because you're a woman. This is something I've experienced growing up in Cologne and its surrounding area. And it is really no wonder that men with a mindset like this do not stop at anything when committing the most gruesome crimes. In their eyes, women are the property of men and infidel women are worth no more than animals. You feel how the general feeling in the public spaces changed for women all across Europe. As Paula, a fellow activist from Germany and friend of mine made clear, pepper spray is sold right next to feminine hygiene articles in stores now. Women feel like it is necessary to visit self-defense classes before going out at night, meaning if they still do so. Criminals and sexual predators have existed since the beginning of mankind, and it has always been risky to walk the streets alone at night as a woman. 
but I think we can all agree on the fact that the number of incidents of sexual violence have significantly increased in the past three years as well as the brutality and lack of remorse with which these crimes are being perpetrated with. A sad example of said crimes is the case of Maria Ladenburger, a German young, a young German woman from Freiburg who was strangled until unconscious and then raped and drowned in a local river while her attacker, Hussein Ka, sat by her side. Upon being arrested, he stated, why all the fuss? It is just a woman. Back in 2013, he was arrested in Greece and thrown in jail for 10 years, uh, uh, charged with 10 years in jail for trying to rob a woman and then throwing her across the fence of a cliff. The woman just survived because she managed to turn herself mid-air and not hitting her head first thing when hitting the ground. Because of the change in the local law, he was able to get out of jail after serving only two of the ten years of a sentence and by that was able to come to Germany. The contempt for the life and the well-being of women is shocking and most people, especially Western men as their consexuals, cannot relate to that. There is no doubt to a strong correlation between these men being Muslim and their disregard for Western women's basic rights. drawbacks like this. We chose this name because we want to be loud against imported sexual violence and we want other women to be loud too. This is not just a movement for patriots. This is for every last woman in Europe that now has to fear for her safety and the safety of her loved ones because our officials have no intention of protecting their people. But also this movement is not just for women. Men play a major supporting role too. Those men care for their mothers, grandmothers, daughters, sisters, wives, girlfriends or daughters. Our first action, as you might know, was the disturbance of the Me Too, uh, Me Too event in Berlin at the Berlinale Festival in February. It was meant to talk about sexual harassment in the film industry. These people are always the first to declare how you need to be brave and get vocal about sexual harassment in this case and that every victim has to be acknowledged and heard. But when we went on stage and asked them to discuss the topic of imported sexual violence and its victims, a topic that is almost completely negated by the media, they suddenly got very quiet. I mean, besides shouting Nazis out at us while we quietly held our pictures of the victims of current politics like Maria Ladenburg. After they told us, told us that they are not going to discuss with us, we left the stage, but not without triggering a pocket alarm at 100 decibel, giving them a taste of their own medicine. The whole event is highly hypocritical. You can damage anyone's reputation by stating that he raped you with his eyes or complimented you in an inappropriate way. But as soon as you mentioned that there has been a significant increase and sexual violence of extraordinary brutality against women that correlates with the uncontrolled mass immigration from Muslim countries, you get shut down by the media and left-wing activists calling you a Nazi and a fascist for simply stating facts and telling the truth. It is as if Me Too is only for the victims of white Western men. Our second big action took place in the end of March where a couple of brave young women went to the parliament in Schleswig-Holstein to draw attention to the severe deficits in the state of the German women's safety. The trigger for this action was the death of 17-year-old Mireille who was murdered by an Afghan asylum seeker whose appliance for asylum has already been declined. These women stood there demanding our right of integrity and the remigration of all illegal and criminal immigrants as well as the reconstruction of a constitutional state where the political left cannot just bend the law whenever they feel like it. In the German town Kandel, a 15-year-old girl called Mia was brutally murdered by her ex-boyfriend, an asylum seeker also from Afghanistan, who was allegedly also 15 years old. This age was later corrected to about 20 years. After splitting, after several months of relationship, she filed charges against him for libel and harassment. Shortly after, he stabbed her to death. 
His application for asylum was denied in 2017, but yet his eviction was never realized. He remained in Germany and by that had the chance to murder an innocent girl. This case, as well as the case of Maria Ladenburger, have become prime examples of the imported sexual violence against women in Germany. In remembrance of those young victims, there is a regular demonstration in the small city of Handel, reaching up to 4,000 participants. Oftentimes, people see 120 decibel as a direct opponent to the Me Too movement, calling us the real feminists. Although, we definitely do not want to be associated with those extreme third wave feminists who decide the best way to reach their political goals is to, write, to strip to their underwear and write proud slut across their chest. <laughs> we believe that, is a that it is beneficial that the general population starts see to see us as the true women's rights activists. It is a twitch right in the heart of the problem. The leftists, females and males, that are eternally torn between advocating the liberation of women in any shape or form and the acceptance of countless illegal Muslim migrants from misogynistic societies in the name of neo-Marxist multiculturalism. One argument of our political opponents is that we claim that all sexual violence is imported and that every single perpetrator is a Muslim migrant. This claim is obviously false. We did not and never will negate that there are other forms of sexual violence against women and violence in general. It is like Franziska, a fellow activist from Austria, said, just because you do cancer research on colon cancer does not mean that you negate the existence of any other cancer there is. We are here because the mainstream, with campaigns like Me Too, only talks about sexual violence if it is politically correct. If you are a victim of sex, imported sexual violence and share your story, you will be accused of exploiting the happenings or even lying about it in general, which can be incredibly traumatizing for the victim. It is a shame that these self-proclaimed women's rights activists only talk about sexual harassment if it is a Western man who has done it. And that is why we chose to raise our voices to defend the rights of European women. We are proud to say that men and women from all over Europe have decided to join the movement and start spreading awareness for effects of uncontrolled illegal mass immigration from males with medieval mindsets from predominantly Muslim countries. This gets more and more important every day. But since a single look in the newspaper, and you can see the situation is progressively getting worse and worse. By spreading the word, we can potentially save the lives of numerous women all across Europe. Now, I can just urge you to join the campaign and motivate your women to stand up for their safety and their future. In Germany, we say, Kandel ist überall. Kandel ist everywhere. Which the tragic incidents of the abuse of maybe more than a thousand young women in Telford and Rotherham proved to be also true for Britain. We have to act now to secure a future worth living in for our women. It is worth fighting for. Thank you. Well done. You guys decide for yourself if she's a Nazi or um, she's just talking about violence against women. This is why I'm here, uh, not sharing my own opinions. I'm merely uh, reporting on what is happening. You can see they're shouting, they're calling. Yeah, where's the man for that? Opinionated European, how slick are you right now? Oh my god! 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 Oh my we all know that Nazis like pedophiles. You only have to look at the ECL. You're a bad hack opinionated European. You're a rubbish journalist. You're a shit Tommy Robinson. You're a shit Tommy Robinson. 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 Shit so. Your YouTube channel sucks!
There's no point in talking to them and exchanging opinions because we know that we don't talk to them. So, I'm gonna go back to Antifa, guys. Um, maybe they'll say some interesting things to me again. So far, they're just being really funny. They say my YouTube channel sucks and yet they watch it, so... Honor. Does, does Tommy Robinson still like McDonald's? Oh, Half of the movement are Jewish. Half of the people here are Jewish, and we're not And any proof that I'm a white supremacist at all? No, we're not talking about anyone else. We're talking about me. So you just made the claim. You're going to back that claim up. Twitter, you dumb cunt. Look at it. Quote it. Quote it. Quote it. Quote it. Quote it. No. I'll get it to hell. I don't trust you. You're so like. You're so fucking. You rocked up. Thank you. See, you can learn something from this girl, okay? She's actually. She actually talks to people. Please don't edit that. If you wanna publish it, publish it properly. No problem. No problem. No problem. Then you can write your own. Sorry. Sorry. Oh yeah, have you? Have you? No, it's, uh, again, so we're, we're still waiting, we're still waiting for you to say why I'm a white supremacist. And why so I'm go a white supremacist. Go on, how am I a white supremacist? We're not talking about her, well she's not for a start, but we're not talking about her, we're talking about me, so back up your claim. You we're at Speaker's you Corner, back up your claim. I can't tell, I can't tell you guys apart. All the fucking old right girls. Not an argument, not an argument, not an argument. Do you know, I can only assume, my name is Lucy Brown, some of them know me, he doesn't seem to. And you're involved in this, 120 decibels? No, I'm not actually, but you guys seem to think, and this guy seems to think I'm a white supremacist with no no evidence whatsoever, and all he's doing is like basically insulting our parents. No problem with me. Which came from friends are advocating for fair immigration. Don't fucking lie to me. You seem to have a problem with me. What is it? Is it my skin colour? I don't have a problem Is it because I'm white? It's not because you're white, bitch. My mom's white. That explains a lot. That explains a lot. Yes. Can you find a single person of colour in that crowd? Yes, there's a couple over there actually. There's a couple. Why does that matter to you? Why does it matter what skin colour we have? Why does it matter to you yeah. what skin colour we have? Can you explain ethno pluralism? Can you explain why? Why do you want me to explain ethno pluralism? Because you're, not, you're, you're being so aggressive, I just want to movement. know why. Yeah. And so far, three of you have just wandered off. You just wander off when I try and ask questions. You're this is speaker's corner. We're here to speak to you. And you wander off and make yourself look like idiots.